Beloved, the way and the only way to overcome opposition is by reporting it to God. Report them to God. Let God do the fighting. And you, you do the working. God bless you as you do that in Jesus' name. Amen. By the grace of God, we're going to be looking at the topic, handling oppositions. Handling oppositions. Our Bible passage is going to be taken from the book of Nehemiah, chapter 6, 1 to 16, while our memory verse will be 1 Peter, chapter 4, verse 12. Let us pray. My Lord and my God, you are the heroi that sees us. You know where the end from the beginning. You see it even beyond the present time. Father Lord, teach us, give us the knowledge, the ability, the capability on how to handle opposition. Help us that we may handle oppositions right in Jesus' name. Help us that they opposite us, they will not overcome us. They will not compress us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting King of glory. Thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Our Bible passage is a little bit long. It's like about 17 verses. Please do read it on your own. Once again, Nehemiah chapter 6, 1 to 16. Read the Bible passage on your own and you will be able to understand better. Now we'll take a memory verse, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 12. It says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fairy trials, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. I think the Lord said that oppositions are different from persecution. And if you go to your dictionary, you will find it so. Oppositions are different from persecution. Persecution happens when someone attacks you because you are a Christian, you are a believer. While opposition happens when you are attacked in a bid to stop you from doing whatever you have planned to do for God. <laughs> Without being told, it is clear to you that opposition can even come from your fellow believers because they are trying to stop you from what you want to do for God. So meaning that so-called fellow believers may also be an opposition to you. You know, a lot of people, they have set out to do things for God. And we are faced with oppositions that made them to turn back. Some of them may still remain fervent Christians, but the opposition discouraged them from going ahead to do what was in their hearts for God. Beloved, if you allow oppositions to stop you from doing what God has called you to do. Many souls will perish in hell and the devil will oppress people because the Christians are quiet. So rather than allow oppositions to stop you, you must learn to keep going despite the opposition. Just keep on pushing forward one man who faced opposition and kept going until the work was done was nehemiah nehemiah faced a lot of opposition but he has set out to rebuild the walls of jerusalem despite the fact that it was not going to be an easy tax Then opposition arose from left, right, and center. 
If you take time to study the book of Nehemiah, you will see the three major tools of opposition that the devil employed against Christians. There in the book of Nehemiah, you will see mockery. You will see threats. You will see discouragement. And even till the present day, this is the same tools that the devil use and use people to oppose Christians. He can raise people to mock you for what you are doing. But you must ignore them. Some people will threaten you with many things. Or even death, if you continue to do what you are doing for God. It is very important for you to know that you should not be afraid because God will take care of such people for you. The devil can bring discouragement by making the work more difficult. He can do it by ensuring the unavailability of resources or some people's refusal to cooperate with you. So whether the devil brings one or all of these things your way, if God has given you a vision, you must never back down. You must do everything possible to achieve that vision that the Almighty God has given you. We must make our prayers unto our God and set a watch against them day and night because of them. You must set a watch. You must pray. You must arise. May the Almighty God give every one of us the strength, the power to pray with their season and to pray fervently. Nehemiah response to all the oppositions that he faced was to pray. Prayer is not a last resort, but your primary defense against opposition. You must start praying from the beginning. Make it part and parcel of you. Don't wait until the situation gets out of hand before you now resort to prayer. As you do all that you that are humanly to forestall opposition. Put your trust on God. Place your ear on his chest to hear the next instruction he will give you. After all, you are doing his work. The people opposing you are actually opposing him. So let him do the fighting while you keep working. Allow God to fight for you. He said it right from the beginning that the battle is not yours, but his. It is my prayer that you'll be able to surrender all your battles unto him. Him who never fails because he will not fail you. God bless you as you hearken to that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our hymn today is hymn 32. To the work, to the work. We are servants of God. Sing this throughout the day. Whatever thing you're doing, occupy yourself. Occupy your hearts with these songs and hymns and they will lighten your day. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Before I go, I would like to appreciate all my returning subscribers. God bless every one of you. To those who are coming to my channels for the first time, I say God bless you too. If you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Do hit on that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you like this topic, Handling Opposition. And the Almighty God will help you to handle every opposition that is likely to come your way in this life in Jesus' name. 
feel very free to share with friends, neighbors, colleagues, everyone around you. May the good Lord bless you as you do that in Jesus' name. May he give you the reward of an evangelist as you share this video with others. Thank you.